Our next speaker is Kyle Gerzinski. I didn't realize he brought a fan club with him. But I tell you what, Kyle signed up to do this the second the session was done last year. He's been on board for a full year. So that, that is a, a pretty awesome statement there. So Kyle Krasinski is the Executive Vice President of Operations for Safe Harbor Credit Union. He lives with the recovering banker tag but has been rehabilitated and part of the credit union movement for five years. He's known for being energetic and motivational, loves to inspire those around him. When he's not working, he can be found spending time with his family and friends, coaching basketball, and learning the whole new world of parenthood. 11 months, right? 11 months. 11 months. So, Kyle, are you ready? Yeah. All right, let's go, good luck. Awkward countdown. Here we go. All right, failure and success. These are the two biggest measuring sticks that we probably deal with on a daily basis. To reach our greatest successes, we're probably going to have some great failures along the way. But to get to these successes, how do you measure success? Do you measure success by how much money you make, how big your house is, or maybe it's the title that's on your business card next to your name? I'm Kyle Grzynski, and like Kevin said, I'm the Executive Vice President at Safe Harbor Credit Union. I'm also the proud father of a beautiful baby girl named Parker Delaney, who is my world, and I am also the lucky husband to that beautiful woman that's way out of my league. I definitely trapped her by proposing to her with that beautiful dog that we have named Cannoli as well. So, what I'm here to tell you today, I'm going to tell you my story about a little humility I've had in my life, uh, starting in the recovering banker theme. So, out of college, I started working at Fifth Third Bank. And I loved it. So part of my training was get people into accounts. If they don't need those accounts, maybe push them into those accounts. But guess what? Once you get them into these accounts, you can make some pretty good money. My eyes, that's all I was worried about young in my life was how much money can I make? And my life was putting people into accounts. So I kept pushing, kept pushing, kept pushing. They put me into a red branch. And what that means, it's a branch that does not have very good sales. We were low in growth and low in income. A year and a half into my position, I took that branch from dead last to first in sales, growth, and profit for Fifth Third Bank in my region. Being the egotistical prick that I was, all I was worried about was money, right? So I went into my boss, boss's office and I said, I want to raise and I want a promotion to a regional manager position. This is what my plan is for me because I, I was only worried about myself. He told me to take a hike and he said, no, you're good in your position where you're at. So what did I do? I took my keys out of my pocket and my badge, and I placed them on his desk, and I walked out of my job. Selfish, right? Uh, that's something I'm not very proud of, but it's definitely something at that point in time in my life I thought was the right move. And John Wooden is one man that I admire a ton. He's the famous UCLA basketball coach, and he had a quote that says, be more concerned about your character than your reputation, because your character is who you truly are, while your reputation is merely what others think you are. I definitely thought I was a big shot in that part of my life, but I truly was not. I had to reinvent myself. I had to figure out what was important in my life and what I wanted to do. So like any millennial, I started job hopping. It's like, oh, I'm going to go into different sales gigs, and I'm going to do the best thing I can do. So like Rocky would say, it's not about how hard you can get hit, it's about how hard you can, or sorry, it's not how about how hard you can hit, it's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. So that's what I did in my career until I was lucky enough to get reached out by a credit union. I wanted to find my own passion. So I had multiple doors closed and one door open. Safe Harbor Credit Union contacted me and asked if I wanted to run a, an operations department. And I felt like I had some unfinished business in the financial world. So I took that position after all these sales positions that I've had. Little did I know that was gonna change my life. They sent me to a training, it's called Credit Union Developmental Educators over in Madison, Wisconsin. I know there's some DEs in the room, maybe there, I know Kevin's a DE. Um, if you don't know what DE stands for, it is the developmental educator part of it, but this taught me about being member-centric, putting others before yourself. How am I making a difference in other people's lives that's enriching my life? Uh, so every day when I come into work, who am I lifting up? Is it somebody that currently works for us? Is it somebody that's outside of our branching world? Is it somebody outside of Safe Harbor Credit Union that I can lift up and make their day 10 times better? So we're making through progress, right? This point, 
what's success mean to me? So success changed. So before it was money, greed. Now it is, how good of a husband am I being? How good of a father am I to Parker? How good of a friend I am? How am I making a difference in the employees at Safe Harbor Credit Union? How am I, make, how am I making a difference in the members at Safe Harbor Credit Union's lives? But it's a constant balancing act, right? So maybe Safe Harbor is doing such an amazing job right now and we're growing, but maybe I'm not being the best husband or I'm not being the best father to my daughter and I need to start spending time with them. Or maybe I'm spending a ton of time with my friends and I don't spend enough time with my dad or my mom, okay? And the next biggest thing is making a difference. How am I making a difference in other people's lives? I, I know here we have two crashers in this program and that makes me so happy to see people from our credit union coming into these conferences and growing with everybody here. So we're continuing to make a difference, we're setting goals, and we want to make sure that we're aspiring to be the best people that we can do in this credit union movement. So hopefully from the beginning of my speech you heard a lot of I, 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 and it's progressed into we, our, and that's what I like to hear. So make sure success is never final, failure is never fatal, aspire to make a difference, don't just aspire to make a living, and don't let the fear of failure stop you from reaching your dream. Thank you very much.